What's happening, YouTube? Jonathan Perriente via Execution 10 here, coming at you guys with another video. And I want to ask you guys to please continue to check and subscribe to my channel for more YouTube videos. So my video today is the state of baseball in. Not including the Yankees only, not including just the Mets. The game in general. And I've been seeing quite a change in this game today from what I saw back then. And, and it worries me. Growing up in the 90s, baseball was all about a lot of things. You had to have a good lineup. You had to have a good starting rotation. You had to have a good bullpen. You had to have guys that knew their role. I look at the game today, and what I'm seeing today is shocking. This whole idea now of managers having to follow a department called analytics with, oh, uh, once your starter goes... Uh, Three times through the order, uh, it's time to get him out of the game. He's not going to have his stuff anymore. Uh, we go to the bullpen. So we're saying now that once your starter goes five innings minimum, that's considered a great start. He did his job. What happened to when the starters win a complete game anymore? What happened to when your starters gave you seven innings or eight innings a start Saving your freaking bullpen for at least the next week. Now you're being forced to bring in the bullpen after four innings or five innings and expecting them to get 12 to 15 outs. And look what that's doing for some teams. Forget just one or two teams in particular. Look what it's doing to all the pitchers in this game with the injuries that are going on. By shortening your starters and increasing the strain on the bullpen... You're increasing both players' chances of injury, basically having no faith in your starters anymore. Basically, you've lost the faith in letting your guys pitch, in just letting your guys be themselves. Because now, analytics and statistics are more important than an individual's game. I can tell you a situation with Trevor Bauer, for example, with Terry Francona, Re just earlier this year. Trevor Bauer was throwing a gem out there. Pitch count was getting a little bit up. And fair enough, he was at 115 pitches. Terry Francona pulls him out of the game, and Bauer was like, yeah, I understand. But if this was an ace pitcher of a staff, that wouldn't do. He would holler at his manager, you are not taking my ass out of this game. In today's game now, players can't even have a backbone anymore to tell their manager, screw analytics, I want to play every day, I'm the starting player, this is my freaking lineup, this is my freaking team, this is a big game for us, I need it in that lineup. Don't sit me down, don't bench me. Today, everybody just goes along with what analytics tells them. It's no longer about somebody just sticking up for themselves and saying, I'm not following some political department that tells me, oh, well, when it's five innings, uh, your starter leaves the game, or, oh, uh, you're facing a, a left-hander that your hottest hitter can't hit against, and he was coming off a four for five night, now we got to sit him down the next night, because, oh, it's a, he doesn't match up well against right-handers, or he doesn't match up. I'm sick of matchups. Let the kids play, as Ken Griffey Jr. says. Is he letting the kids play? You know, let the managers manage. Forget just letting the kids play. Let the managers manage. Stop taking advice from your general manager's department and from the analytics department. The general manager has a job. And that's to go out there and build the pieces to make a good team. Draft the players that are going to help your team. Develop that farm system. Get those right people to hire correctly for your team. And then once that's over with, let the manager himself manage his own club. That's what I'm not seeing in the game anymore. And it absolutely upsets me as a baseball fan. Back then, as I said, the game was played so much differently compared to what it is now. Back then, your starters went as deep as they could, giving you everything they had every single night not only saving your bullpen, but maybe not having to kill your bullpen at all. 
today now, five innings is considered good and is considered fine. So now we can go to the bullpen four or five to get 15 outs a night and screw what your starter says. Oh, maybe he's only at 70 pitches and now we take him out of the game. I've been seeing too much of this now where the starter who's cruising gets pulled after about 75 pitches and then we're supposed to say, did his job, now let's go to the pen. The bullpen's not going to blow it. He won't let, they won't let him down. And then the bullpen fails. You lose a game that you should have won. And then you look back at that game towards the end of the year, maybe to say to yourself, why didn't we make the playoffs? Oh, because uh, my manager decided to follow analytics instead of following his players, uh, instead of trusting his own player. The human element of the game is gone. The hot streak in the game is gone. The Iron Man in the game is gone. And until something changes soon, and we could have a very possible work stoppage brewing in a couple years from now con concerning the game of baseball, something needs to be done. And for me, this whole idea of analytics, and I, you know, listen, analytics are important to the game. But there's a fine line you have to cross with analytics. And one of them is when it comes to human element. Let your players do their job. Trust your players. Trust your instincts. Trust your own judgment. Not the judgment of a nerd at the top of a freaking ladder with his little pocket protector and glasses on. Don't trust those guys all the time with analytics. Let your players do their job. Let your manager manage the game his way and stop telling him how to manage. You've noticed old school managers have pretty much disappeared from this game of baseball. Probably the exception will be Terry Francona. Roughly. You don't see any old time managers in the game anymore. They all got let go last year. Mike Sosha, gone. Joe Girardi, gone. Paul Molitor, gone. Dusty Baker, gone. Jimmy Leland, gone. Only a couple of these old-time managers are still managing today. One of them is Terry Francona, and the other one now I'm going to bring up is Ron Gardenhire. Okay. That's all you got right now. Now you have younger managers managing and they're expected to follow the analytics department and just go on the numbers and the statistics and not go by the player element of the game. Now you're seeing the concept of bullpenning. Now you're seeing, oh, well, relievers are now going to open the game and maybe give you one or two innings and the bullpen comes in again, and then the bullpen comes in again, and then again, and again, and again. For a nine inning game. If there was anything worse that could have happened. It was the bullpen starting a game. And then the whole game is determined by what the bullpen does. For nine innings. It's scary. That baseball's heading this avenue. And somebody needs to finally speak up about it. Because it's time for this charade to end. I'm tired of seeing games being dictated because of what analytics says. I want to see the game dictated by the players themselves. And I'm not just talking about the Yankees. I'm not just talking about the Rays. I'm not just talking about the Mets. I'm not just talking about the Dodgers or the Giants. I'm talking about the game of baseball as a whole. What happened when starters could give you 130 pitches an outing? Today they get hurt because we coddle them too much. We limit their innings. They don't have a workout program to pitch more during the off season. And then look what happens when the season begins. Oh, uh, strained rotator cuff now for this guy. He's going to miss three, six months. Oh, uh, uh, Tommy John surgery now for this guy because he hadn't pitched in about five months. <laughs> oh, uh. We're not going to throw our starters out there in the spring training. We want to protect them. Fast forward to the regular season. Look what they're doing now. 
Look at what's happened in this game right now. Because we are overprotecting our players. You may be protecting them. But just like when you overwater a plant. Even though you think you're doing the right thing with giving it water every day. You're sometimes killing them with kindness. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening with these players in the game today. By resting them too much, by trying to protect them, you also do risk them getting hurt at some point. You are killing them with kindness. Basically, by not making them play every day, by telling them to sit out every now and again, you basically are saying to your player, listen, I love you and I, I don't want you to get hurt, but I can't play against this guy because you don't hit him well. You know, you won't, just, you won't be able to help us win the game. So, it's like you basically said, I'm sorry, Aaron Judge, but... You know, I love your smile and you're great at that, but uh, you're facing uh, you're facing Randy Johnson and, uh, you know, you, you, you strike out too much. So uh, I'm just going to sit you down today. If this was some other player like a Ken Griffey Jr. or Barry Bonds, he would have looked at his manager. He would have looked at his manager, probably given him one of the most deadliest stares or maybe threatened to sue if he got to sit out. He had to sit out of a game because... Oh, the pitcher your guy, your pit you're facing strikes out, guys, and you're gonna strike out too much tonight, so I'm just not gonna play you. No. No. Until something changes with this game, and until somebody finally speaks up about it that has a backbone to say, I'm tired of analytics, I'm tired of letting the upper management decide what happens to this club. The game of baseball is gonna continue to drop, it's gonna continue to decline, and with a possible work stoppage around the corner. Who knows where this game's going to go? I hope something's done soon to bring back baseball to the way it was. Bringing back the human element of the game. That's what we as fans grew up loving to watch. That's what we as human beings, when we take our kids to the ballpark, when we take our next generation of family to baseball games, that was why baseball was, and still is, America's pastime. When we tell our kids... And we show our kids the game of baseball and we tell them, you know, and we can pass those stories on to tell our kids, hey, I was at Brooklyn Dodgers Stadium when Jackie Robinson played. I was at St. Louis when Stan Musial was playing. I got to watch Tom Seaver pitch. I got to watch Sandy Koufax pitch a complete game on 129 pitches. That's what you loved about the game. That's what you respected about the game. These guys went day in and day out delivering the outings you always expected them to deliver with. Well, until baseball and until the players finally just get their acts together with these managers and say to them, I'm tired of listening to a binder and listening to some nerd in the geek squad at the top telling me this is how we have to manage our team. The game of baseball is going to continue to slide and who knows if we'll ever get baseball back. I want to see the game played the way it was supposed to be. I want to see the pitchers go back to the pitchers they used to be. I want to see hitting go back to the way it was. With situational hitting not just relying on the long ball. And I want to see some of these players get in better condition and stop getting hurt every day. Every day there's a little, oh guy, uh... Hurt his, you know, hurt his toe because he uh, was pushing something after he came out of a shower. Oh, uh, guy got uh, hurt his shoulder just by picking up a suitcase. Heck, I know a guy that went on the DL just because he sneezed. These players have to get better conditioned. For example, stop going on the weight machines and actually do old-fashioned training techniques, like actually deadlifting a real rock or something instead of a weight. Use the natural God-given elements on our earth for training instead of machinery. These are all things that old-time players did, that the new generation's not doing. Hopefully with a with who knows what could be on the horizon, and something hopefully has to change to at least bring a sliver of the old game of baseball back. I'm not saying you're going to bring it all back, but bring baseball back to the credibility and the respect that it had 
and what made it America's pastime. Jonathan Perriente, The Education 10, saying bye for now.